Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. No, you're not having a deja vu. I figured I would redo the intro since we're redoing everything. Yeah. I got it all fixed up. We're good. Don't worry. So, yeah, I haven't changed much. Kind of put it back to the way. I added a little bit more armor. And the most important thing I did is right here. Number five. Yep. That will actually turn off the uh, connector altogether. But apparently we used a lot of uh, iron, so... Oh, yeah, and I took it out for its maiden voyage and just destroyed a chunk of rock out there because I didn't feel like running into that. Oh, almost forgot. I need to turn on the hydrogen systems. There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I keep forgetting how big this thing is. Hang on, let me just make sure that there's no damage. Ha! <laughs> I need to make this whole thing bigger. <laughs> all right, well, I didn't seem to damage the uh, the ship at all. Um, yeah, looks, looks good to me. But I sure did a number on the roof. You'll notice I took out both lights the last time I brought it out. Okay. And let's try that again. Very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah, I think my I think in between this episode and next, I will uh, make the garage a bit bigger. Maybe maybe that'll give me that my opportunity to fix the uh, the circle on the roof that bugs me to no end. All right, let's head over to my favorite iron mine and get a ridiculous amount of iron. All right. I think we're going to have some fun this time. Oh, I know. It's fun every time, but... I don't need to. I'm pretty much full. I don't have ice balls. I thought I would. I really don't. Let's see. Look at that. I've got 900,000 ice, and it's refilling the tanks pretty much instantly. So, oh, I don't want to get out. I want to go back into remote control and turn on the lights. And see, that wasn't even all that much ice. Okay. So, I want to clear a bunch of space. And then I want to get so much iron and never have to think about it again. Alright, let's see how this works. I see my weight going up, like, really fast. Well, let's see how much I have. 100,000. In a few seconds. Love it. Yeah, beautiful. So now, I'm thinking, I kind of want to just clear out a whole bunch. I'll stop bumping. Thanks. That's why I put armor on this thing. Tasty, tasty iron. Thank you. 
Alright, I just hit 2 million and jumped out of my cockpit again. Why do I keep doing that? I've got 368,000 iron. That's not enough to where I'm never going to have to worry about it again, but it's enough to where I can head back to base. That didn't take too long. I'm showing a five minute counter since I started this recording. That's not bad at all. And this thing is still flying great with two million kilograms in it. I am happy about that. We still have 800,000 ice. We only went through 0.2 uranium. And I have lost my base. Where the heck? stop losing altitude. This thing definitely flies differently when it's uh, full. There it is. Did I just totally blow past it? Yeah, I did. I just totally went over it. Okay, that's cool. It's not a problem. I wonder if I can park backward in this thing. Is that connector right in the middle? It looks like it is. I've never parked this direction. Let's see if it works. Let's see what else we can knock off the base. Boy. Okay, yeah, definitely has different flight mechanics when uh, when it's full. And yeah, a little bit more height would definitely do me good. Okay, let's turn on the connector and the camera view. Whoa. I should be getting close to it. Maybe not. Oh, I'm way off to one side. Okay. Is that damaged? It looks like some of the armor's damaged a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, let's go. There. This is where the camera comes in, I think. There I am. So I want to be right about there. Good. Turn and lower. And do that. And I instantly lose a million pounds. Alright. Iron, yeah. See, <laughs> we're down to 14,000. Um, but we just brought in why? Why does it do that? It's... It's processing stone first. Why is it be weird? Um, the refineries... Oh, because they're... I don't know why. Um, I wonder if we did... Zero... I know that seems really weird, but yeah, it worked. No, um, yeah, it worked. So now it's doing cobalt and iron, one of each, and now it's doing both iron. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. I wonder. Well, I don't care. That worked. So now we're gonna get some iron back. That's good news because we're gonna need a lot of iron. Especially for what I have planned. What I have planned. <laughs> no. Um, so, you know, the moon was always meant to be kind of a stop off on the way to another planet. So I can see it. I don't know if we can even see it from here. Go outside. Let me put on my helmet before I die. There we go. All right, let's go take a look around at the night sky and see. Uh, sorry. Kind of want to see as much as possible. Oh, yeah. So that's... Okay, so that's the Mars-like planet over there. And, yep, there we go. There's the alien planet over there. And they both have moons, as far as I know. I have never been... To, well, I've never been to either of those in this world. I've been, I've started worlds um, on both the Mars and alien planet. I've never been to either of the moons. And like I said, I haven't been to those planets on this world at all. 
So, what I want to do is a little tour of our system. I really would like to uh, fall to my death. I wonder if you can in 0.25 gravity. Hmm. Let's find out. Yes, you can die in 0.25 gravity at, uh, yeah, terminal velocity there. In this case, literal terminal velocity. All right, anyway, um, I want to do a little tour of the solar system. But the only way we're going to be able to do a tour of the solar system is if I make a ship capable of touring the solar system. So I need to be able to make something that, hey, here we go. I need to be able to make something that will be able to take off from a planet, specifically, well, at first, this planet, so it's going to have to take off in 0.25 Gs, and then it's going to have to land on another planet. We can't see those anymore. They're below the horizon, but... Um, I think the alien planet has 1.2 g gravity, something along those lines. So we're going to need to make something that can land and take off in more than 1 g. I know it has more than 1 g, uh, the alien planet. So that means we either need to have a mixture of ion thrusters and uh, atmospheric thrusters, or... We need to do hydrogen um, or a mixture of two of those or a mixture of all three. Now, you know I like hydrogen, obviously, because it's just got a ridiculous amount of power behind it. I mean, this entire thing, two million kilograms, was being lifted quite easily by four. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, by four of these, believe it or not, small hydrogen thrusters. That's a lot of power. Now, yes, it does use a lot of ice as well, but it easily carries the amount of ice. I mean, far more ice can be carried by those thrusters than they need to run. So as long as we have a lot of ice, it's not really an issue. Now, we should probably do some backups as well, and I'm thinking probably ions. Um, I think for out in space, ion's a really good idea. Uh, it's not as easy to find ice out in space. I mean, they, some of the um, some of the asteroids have ice on them and that kind of thing. But yeah. Anyway, uh, you if you've if you watch my channel religiously, then you saw my donut. Um, that's the uh, the donut. My, my ship called the Donut, and it's designed, in theory, to land on a planet and take back off again. It uses entirely hydrogen thrusters. That's not necessarily a good idea. Hmm. Anyway, I'm mostly thinking out loud here. I'm going to continue thinking about this, but my plan, my next plan, now that we have this big old miner that's capable of bringing in lots of materials very quickly... Um, I mean, what was that? A couple of minutes, and we had half a minute. How much? How much iron did I bring in in a couple of minutes? Oh, no, don't close on me! Come on. Um, so we're up to 117 here. Uh, okay, so a third of a million iron in just a couple of minutes of mining. So we're going to be able to bring in a lot of materials very quickly. I'm, I'm probably going to have to add a couple more refineries, though, because this is taking forever. Look at the cobalt that I brought in a while ago is still churning, as well as the uranium. I mean, it, actually, it's not even trying to, but they're backed up, you know? I mean, like, when when this gets through... Uh, when this, when this gets through churning through all the iron and then the cobalt, then it's going to start on the uranium. It's going to take forever. So I'm going to throw on a couple more refineries on that guy. Uh, probably just stack two more up there. Mm, is there room for a third one this way? I mean, I wouldn't mind having six of these guys. Nah, I'll probably just stick two more on top. That'll probably be easier. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. So here's what I want. I want you guys to give me suggestions. Because I'm going to start my own basically portable base. Because, out, I mean, and the reason I'm looking out here is because this is where I'm going to build it. I'm not going to bother trying to create, you know, a hangar for this thing. It's going to be huge. It's literally going to encapsulate this entire base. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of thinking about doing the merge block trick with all of my assemblers. Disconnecting them from the base, sticking a merge block on this, and then merging it into, you know, probably pick it up with something and fly it over and set it down inside the ship that I have partially, you know, at that point partially built out there. Um, more than likely, I'll rebuild the refineries inside the new one. But, uh, yeah, basically, I want to make a flying base with the ability to land and take off again in atmosphere so that we can take a tour of this solar system. Obviously, I'm going to need jump drives. I've not yet made one in this series, but I will. Um, and probably at least two in the ship. Um, those with more experience in jump drives, please let me know if two is enough or overkill or what. Um, yeah, I want to just give me some suggestions because we're going to start putting this together. It's going to take several episodes to put that, uh, put that guy together. I guarantee it. Um, don't send me links to other people's blueprints. I, I, I love looking at other people's ships. I will be building my own ship because I like, that's the whole point of space engineers is creativity, figuring things out on your own, you know, learning from others, but figuring things out on your own. All right. I know I spent most of this episode just talking and walking around and that's lame I, I mind a little bit of iron um so i'll end it with a montage do you like montage do 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 like that kind of thing no all right well i'll end it with something fun we'll see <laughs> and uh until next time I'll see you on Epic Tech.